So um, the thing that, and I, I'm going to give the heads up that it's a little bit sad, this one, because uh, mm -hmm. some of you that are on my list or in my world know uh, that this week I experienced the, the death of an aunt. Um, mm -hmm. And she is somebody that I was pretty close with and adored. Um, and I'm not going to go get too weepy there. But the biggest lesson that I learned was not to make yourself indispensable. And I've worked really hard this year on training other people to be able to do what I do on, um, on like not onboarding, but better training my VAs to support me and help me get things done even when I'm indisposed. Because this week when my world fell apart, uh, my business would have too, because I wouldn't have been able to deliver and there would have been nobody there to help me. So don't, if you are feeling like the only way you can make a successful business is by being indispensable, by being the one with the reputation, being the one that does the work, if you can't let go of control and let other people help you, uh, then your business is in serious danger. You can't make yourself the linchpin that's holding everything together. So um, definitely start thinking about how to build your business and structure your business. And this may be a few steps of where you are right now, but just have mm -hmm. that in the back of your mind that the ultimate goal is to get you out of the day to day to where your business could run without you. Because otherwise, this would have been a really hard week with me trying to deliver on stuff mm -hmm. and be there for my family. So yeah, that's what that's I've beautiful. got. Thank you, Angie. That's awesome. And uh, many, uh, all of our love, of course, and support. I don't want to make you cry, but I know you've heard it a lot. And it's never more true than in these moments, what a community means. And as much as you pour into this community every year. I hope you feel how much we're all behind you while, oh, while yeah. you go through this. You guys would have loved Aunt Chris. If you've ever seen me tell a story where I'm squatting and doing big sound effects and stuff like that, I blame all of that on her. <laughs> it sounds like it'll be a fun remembrance in that regard, you know? Absolutely. And I'm bringing the digital recorder. I'm going to capture all the family stories and this is going in some sort of weird family storybook someday. <laughs> I love it. All right. Thank you for sharing. I really appreciate it. Mm-hmm.